come back, plumbing expert Pete Wood will share solutions for a common problem this time of the year that could affect your basement. Spring is here, and that means two things, April showers and basement flooding. Joining us now is basement expert Pete Wood of the Rotor MD Plumbing Company, and he's here with some tips about something many homes in Metro Detroit have, the sump pump. So, Pete, thanks so much for joining us. Thus, the doctor coat, the Rooter MD company. Thank you. So, come that. to our rescue. Now, this is one of those things, the sump pump, that you really don't want to think about. You just don't think about it until something goes wrong with it. Yes. Mo most homes, along with the sanitary drain, also have a storm drain. Mm -hmm. And when we have heavy rains, the storm water comes in and it carries with it silt and sand and it goes into the sump pump. So, it's very important to keep that clean. To keep it clean, so that's one preventative measure. Because I know that a house that I lived in several years back, there was a problem with it. We had to direct the water away from the house, but it was, it was almost to the point where it was too late. Thankfully it wasn't, but that, that becomes an ongoing problem. Yes, r routine maintenance is very important. It's important to keep your sewers clean, snake them once a year. It's important to check your, your pit that the pump is in to, uh, it, uh, Preventive maintenance that you can do would be to pull the pump out and vacuum out the silt and the mm -hmm. sand that might prematurely affect the pump. So you could do this yourself or you could hire somebody to do it, since it's not really a pretty job, I wouldn't imagine. That's correct. Right? Okay, tell us these components, that this is what the whole sump pump looks like, right? Tell us what these are about. This is a standard sump pump. This, this, is, um, this is a discharge pipe that goes into the pump. Mm -hmm and it has a check valve on it. It's important to have the check valve because that keeps the pump from working real hard so it stops the water from falling back into the pit. Okay, so now some homes actually don't have sump pumps. Like I know Charles doesn't have one in his home. Well, what? I don't have a basement. Is that why? Some, some storm drains gravity feed into the uh, city sewer mm -hmm. just by gravity. So the storm water will flow naturally into the city sewer. Okay, now what do you have over here? Is this, uh, this is the water alarm. Would this be a way to perhaps prevent the sump pump or, or give you some kind of notice before something's gonna go wrong? Yes, that's a water alarm. It's similar to a smoke alarm. If mm -hmm. it senses water, what it will do is it will uh, send out an alert signal and let you know that there's water starting to back up. Okay, now what exactly does the sump pump do when it is functioning? I mean, what does it, what does it do for your house? Why do you need it? A sump pump will convey the storm water that's flowing in and lift it up to a city sewer or to an outside sewer. Mm -hmm. So it'll, it'll discharge the water from the home that way. All right, now is it, once it's too late, is it kind of an expensive repair once, you know, once you do have a backup? I know your basement's trashed pretty much, but is it kind of expensive to get it back on track? Well, it's not that hard to replace a sump pump. A good preventative maintenance would be to add a backup pump. And when you do that, if the sump pump fails, the backup pump will work off of water pressure. Mm -hmm. So if you lose uh, electricity, the backup pump will still work and keep you from flooding. All right. Well, Dr. Wood, thanks for the warning this morning. All right. Thanks a lot for Thank joining you. us. Fox News Morning continues in just a minute.